Hi! So I read a lot this year. Um, like mid-2020 I started getting like really back into reading and reading a lot more. Um, I read 105 books this year. So um, yeah, it's definitely been one of the huge things I've been doing with my life. Um, I've been reading a lot and I wanted to do a little like recap of some of the books this year that just really stuck with me like I couldn't stop thinking about them or just I really loved what it was about like I really got into the book just like I, I really loved pretty much all of the books I read but there are some that I just still can't stop thinking about and just wanted to share so that's what this is um it's 21 books because it's 2021 um, and I had to stop count it somewhere. So here's 21 books that I loved from 2020. One. <laughs> I don't know what year it is. So we're going by month. January is this book. I know you can't see what this is. Um, it's Joyful by Ingrid Fatel Lee. I think that's how you pronounce the last name. Um, I like this. It's hardcover. I like this better than the dust jacket. The dust jacket is white and it has a little bit of confetti, but this has... A bunch of confetti. This I think was probably my favorite book of the year um, because basically it's like about finding joy and all of like your life and like like little things throughout your life that you can find joy in and like that provide you joy kind of like thing and I really loved it. It made me realize why I really like some things in my life because unconsciously I didn't realize they brought me joy but they do. Really love this book. It makes me very happy yes i definitely recommend it i love it so much it's also the inside is like bright blue it's just like it's all about happiness and joy and it makes me very happy um so we're going to april this book um another psychology book i think these are the only two that really like like are on my list um but this one i read this one and i know it's uh <laughs> it's mostly for like educators and parents kind of thing but it was also it was really interesting to read um it's basically about like some of the things that you do to like push kids in school may not be beneficial and like how to have a healthier mindset towards school and like doing school related stuff like not pushing kids to be burnt out and not have joy in learning um and it was really interesting to like because it was written it was published at the beginning of this year so it had COVID information in it. It had information about COVID and online learning, which I thought was really interesting to read. Um, I recommend it if you're a student also, because it's interesting too to take a step back and be like, oh, how can I improve my learning so I don't get burnt down? I don't like, like I end up liking, I, and so I keep liking school and like all this stuff. Um, I definitely recommend it. It was a very good book and yeah, I really like it. We're in May now. Um, so the first step is a series. I'm counting the series as one. Um, because otherwise it would be a lot. Anyway, the Carval series with the legendary and finale. This series, it messes with your mind, dude. Like it was so good. I loved it. Um, I loved the like world building. I loved like the characters and like how it made you be like, whoa, like, wait, what? Like stuff just kept happening where I was like, what? <laughs> um, it was a very good series. I really, really liked it. And yeah, I just really liked how it made you like just keep like you're trying to guess what was gonna happen and you couldn't guess what was gonna happen. I read the series I think in like three days, um, or two and a half ish. Um, I basically just read and kept reading. This was in May, so I think I just read it on the weekend, um, when I didn't have to do schoolwork. So yeah, love this series. Uh the other book that I read in May that I loved this it's called *A Summer to Die*. First time I read this was in third grade. Um, this is the book that got me into reading. That like this is the book. Um, this is not the same cover, but I really love this cover, and I just wanted the book again because I wanted to read it again because I haven't read it since I was in third grade. Um, it's really sad, but it really makes you think about like life and stuff to me. And like I just remember being in third grade and getting to a part and like where it started making like this is the first book that made me cry. Pretty much every book now makes me cry, but this was the first book to make me cry. Um, and so I remember sitting in my classroom in third grade and I start, we were done with a test or something. I don't know. We just had free reading time. And I just remember sitting there and I got to a really sad part and I just started crying. And like my teacher was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, it's just the book. Like I just, I've never had a book make me feel emotions like this. And so I wanted to get it again and 
like see if you've still felt the same way I still feel the same way about this book um it's really good it really makes me think and yeah love this book um it's a little, I bought it used so it has some marks on it but it was very good and yeah okay now we're in June um this is where I really start getting into book talk. Like the months before, I was like I was a little into book talk. Now I'm really into book talk. Um, that's pretty much all of my TikTok videos is books. So we're gonna start getting a little more into books that I found on book talk. So first up, we have the Midnight Library by Matt Haig. And that's how you pronounce the last name. I'm terrible with pronouncing names. So yeah, this book was so good. Once again, made you think about life in. What you want to do with your life and how you feel about life and it was such an interesting concept too i was just like Whoa. like i just i loved this book um definitely recommend it made me think and was just like wow i really love this book i think i read it in like a day day and a half um it was so good yeah okay next book the invisible life of Addie larue by v.e schwab this book i also just loved um i think this one took me a little bit longer to read it just kind of like it was so interesting it's basically like this girl makes this deal with like a god kind of thing um to like kind of live forever but then it's like a curse and like it's just so good and it's so interesting to see to see like how she's like survived all this time and like and then like it it just and then like i i don't even have words um it was really good uh, I know some people love it, some people hate it. I really loved it. It just, I really, really liked it. I don't know what else to say besides I really, really liked it. And it made me, like, kind of, like, think about our impact that we leave on the world. And, like, that kind of part of life of, like, the impact that you want to leave. Um, so, yeah. Okay, now we're in July. Um, so, first up, we have Circe. This book was so beautifully written to me. Um, this is gonna be a very unpopular opinion. I wasn't the biggest fan of Song of Achilles. Um, like I liked the story, I loved the writing, but it just didn't pull me in as much as Cersei did. Um, I like just, I could not put this book down. It was so good. I loved it, I loved the story and just like the retelling of it. Cause like to me, like Greek mythology is very interesting. Um, and so it was really interesting to see this re like this retelling of it and stuff. I liked it a lot. Next is the series, Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares. Um, again, kind of a, I didn't realize this, but kind of like a god book about like gods. Um, I just realized that. <laughs> um, but not like Greek gods, it's very different. Um, this These books were very good. I really, really liked them. Also like the cover so cool looking um this one yeah this one's pretty cool but this one i love this one it did look so pretty i love pretty books <laughs> they make me very happy when the cover makes me like i will like specifically try and get one edition of a book because it is prettier than the other one to me um yeah so this is basically it's like i, I don't even know how to describe it but it's just like it really made me thought about think about like family and like who the people like we care about and like how they come into our lives and then like that kind of thing um that's kind of what i got from this is like people we care about and um like everybody's different and it's still like that doesn't make them bad just because they're different kind of thing um that's kind of what i remember from this and what kind of stuck with me um, I like that's kind of a book that thing that like I, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like something about books that I really like is when it's like found family or um, like realizing that people that are different doesn't mean they're bad. Like they're just different kind of thing. Um, those are things that I really like in books. And yeah, I really like the series. I went through it very fast. I like pretty much all of the books that I read, but this these especially the ones that I'm talking about are the ones that I like I went through very fast. Um, I really loved them. So now we're in August. Um, August, these books, I really love them a lot. <laughs> I love all my books. I just, I was so hard to choose books for this. Oh my gosh. I had this idea and I wanted to do it, then I was like, oh, how am I going to choose? Um, anyway, okay, so first book, Cemetery Boys. One, okay, the book itself, the inside, this color is gorgeous. And then this, oh my gosh, it was so pretty. And it just, 
um i loved reading it i loved reading about the culture in it too like all of like the day of the dead um it was just really interesting to read about and then also um it was just like also had a ghosty aspect which i really liked i love paranormal stuff um so i thought that was so cool and like i just love this book and i love how like it came to like find who they are and like the ending I, I cried this book made me cry so hard like at first i was really sad and then i was really happy and it sad and happy it was just all of the emotions it was great i loved it so much um i wish i could reread this book for the first time it made me so happy okay next one lore um i've read other books by this author i love this author um i really like the way that she writes i don't know why i just really do this one was really interesting when I read it, like the one the cover, the cover is so cool. Like, look at this. I was like, it's like marble, and then there's like Medusa. I was just like this, and then the eye through the oh, I. This book makes me happy. <laughs> um, and not like just the beauty of it, like makes me happy, but also the inside of the book makes me happy. Um, so basically, it's like kind of a retelling, but like not. It's more like Percy Jackson kind of thing, where it's like real life not a retelling of like in the past it's like a current gods to be gods in our world and like they come back i don't remember how often it's like every four years i feel like um and like they have to fight to like and like the interesting thing that i thought was that like somebody else could like if you kill the greek god then you become the greek god i thought that was really interesting i was like huh that's an interesting thought um how like how that all worked i was like huh and like so basically they're like trying to like go through this whole thing and just once again found family um and like mythology and like magic it just made me very happy it was really cool i really loved it love how it's written and everything and also it's shiny <laughs> um yeah i love this book totally recommend it if you like greek mythology kind of thing it's like an interesting twist on it because it's not like the typical greek mythology stuff where it's like everything is like i don't know it was just it was very it was not what i was expecting when i heard about it it was like greek um mythology retelling kind of and like all this stuff. i was like and then i read it i'm like this is not at all what i was expecting but it's so good i love it still so yeah i definitely recommend it i love this book a lot i love all these books i have a problem but hey there are worse things to love than be obsessed with so so now we're in september um this month has a lot of books <laughs> um it has four but technically three because there's a series so the first one up is all the light we cannot see I really like how this author writes um i really felt like i was in there like i was in the book like i was in i really like that also this is beautiful this is just stunning um <laughs> i have a thing for pretty books what can i say um and so i just i don't know why it was so pretty to read and like how it was described was so pretty and like just like the meaning behind the story like i like the two points of view and like going out through time um it was a really interesting read and just really made me think and I really, really liked it. So yeah, this book, I love it so much. And also it's beautiful. So yeah. Okay, next book. Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I just realized I haven't really been saying who these books are by. I started and then I stopped. Oh, well. Um, this book, I really love this book. At first, it took me a bit to get into this book. Like, I think it took me like four days to read because at the beginning I was kind of like, Eh, like it took me a bit to get into it and then once I got into it I cannot put it down um I think I went to bed at like 1 or 2 a.m one night reading this book I loved the story and it was like mystery and it kept like making me think and then also like at the end I think it was really hard for me to get into it because there was like a lot of like jumping around like but then the end it all came together but like that at the beginning kind of like learning a bunch of stuff kind of made me confused um and took my second for my took a second for my brain to completely put together but once i got it i was like this is so good also it's a beautiful book it's stunning i love the colors um together it just looks so pretty so yeah um totally recommend this book it was so pretty in the story i just at the end i was like what well i don't know what that was but this is a good book <clears throat> Next up, we got a series, The Inheritance Games. I cannot wait for the third book to come out. Oh my goodness, I hate starting a series and then it's not out yet, like completely. I hate that because I like just reading through the whole thing because I just, I do. 
um one this book is so cool i like when it has i have another book that's kind of like this um where it has like a bunch of stuff that comes up in the story on the cover um what is it the hazelwood um series where it has like a bunch of stuff i like and this one has it too i really like that when book covers have that um this is so good it's like a mystery like suddenly comes into a lot of money and then it's like how and like gets emerged in this family and like it's so good i was just like whoa i cannot wait for the third book to come out um i waited i waited to get this series because i was like okay there's a second book coming out soon i should wait for the second book waited for the second book and then found out there's a third <laughs> So I cannot wait for this book, to, the third book to come out. It was so good. I love it so much. I've read these so fast. I love them so much. Uh, I cannot wait. It was so interesting to just like, I just kept being like, what? Like there were so many twists that I did not expect. So I really loved them. And they make me very happy. Books make me really happy. This is just talking about the books that I love is making me very happy. So. Next up is October. Because it was like spooky month, spooky season for Halloween, I read some more like spooky books. Um, so some of these are like the top ones that I read that I was like, oh my gosh. Um, like kind of mystery makes you think like what's happening kind of thing. Uh, makes you think reality, think about reality and all that kind of stuff. Um, but first up, nothing of that sort, kind of. I don't know, I guess kind, I don't know. This book, The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This book is beautiful. I specifically was looking for this cover of this book because I love old keys. Old keys make me very happy. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness. Um, loved this book. It was so cool. Like, it's like, basically it's like, there's this reality of the like trying to see, like save like knowledge kind of thing is how like I kind of remember it. Um, and like it's underground and it's like this whole secret society kind of thing. It's so cool. There's also, oh my gosh, I think, um, my favorite quote from a book ever, like one of my favorite quotes ever, um, it's from the mom from the book of the main character. She's telling this to the main character's friend, um, and I just, I just, I love it, so I'm gonna read it. Um, it says, be brave, be bold, be loud, never change for anyone but yourself. Any soul worth their star stuff will take the whole package as is and however it grows. Don't waste your time on anyone who, who doesn't believe you when you tell them how you feel from Madame, Madame Love Rollins. I just, I read that and I was like, yes, I love it. I love this book. I, I love this book so much. It was so pretty. I just, the way it was written, I love the writing style and it was just so interesting and just, oh, I just really love this book. This is, this is definitely one of my top like favorites of this year, probably top five. This one was just, it was so pretty. I keep saying I loved all the books, but I did. I loved all the books, so we can get over that. <laughs> um, next up is a series. Um, the Mara Dyer series. I think that's how you say the name. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, Evolution and Retribution. This series, it came out a while ago, but I, okay, so I read this like within two days. And I had stuff going on those two days. I went to a football game. I brought this with me. I got made fun of it. Um by somebody who thinks reading is weird um but it's, it's a joke it was fine um and she's just like you're reading stop reading I'm like okay whatever I'm here to help with this I'm not here for this so I'm gonna read it was so good I just I just kept being like what is happening what like I all the twists and the mind games I was like ha I this series was so good um it just made me think so much and it was just very creepy, but like in a good way. I like creepy, so like creepy books. It was very interesting. Um, and speaking about creepy books, this next one, The Silent Patient. Oh my gosh, I got this. I was like, I don't know if I like it. It seems kind of interesting. It was so good. Um, the twist, I was not expecting it. I was trying to figure out how the person was, and then when I found out who the person was, I was just like, oh my goodness. If you like mystery and like makes you not be able to sleep at night, I don't know, I could, I don't know. This was just, it was mystery and like mess with your brain and just, it was so good. I, I kind of, one point was like, I don't understand how this is, like how this works, like what? And then all of a sudden it clicked and I was like, 
oh my gosh like it was just I don't even know like it was so good um I just I don't even know how to describe this book other than I didn't know what was happening and then when I figured out what was happening I just I I don't even know I don't have enough words for how much this book messed with my brain I still can't stop thinking about it and like how it all worked and how somebody could do that I was just like so yeah if you like mysteries and mind games this this is the book dude this is the book oh my gosh so yeah that was October it was a very much mind game month in haunted ghosts Okay, so I might not have been completely honest when I said this is the last, last kind of psychology self-help book. Because there's this one. One. It's all about timing. Honestly, when I picked it up in a bookstore, I was like, oh, this looks kind of interesting. Um, like an interesting concept. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I loved it. It was so interesting to read about how, like, different times of day can help with different kinds of things. And, like, how different people operate on different schedules. And, like, how time impacts us and how doing things at certain times can make us do them differently like it was just so cool to read about i just this book was really interesting and i hadn't read a really good like psychology kind of book in a while and this it, it was really good and i really liked it also it's yellow so that also gave it bonus points because it's yellow <laughs> next up we have i'm not your perfect mexican daughter this book um was very pretty to me like the way it was written it was really interesting it's kind of like a coming of age kind of thing um and like trying to like be who she is and like losing someone and then being compared to them and like it, it was just so good um I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did also it's so pretty I love this color and then like the with the red it was so pretty um like this is so pretty and then I just I don't know I just this book was really pretty and it made me very happy like it was like reading it was just like very I don't know I like like coming of age books too where like people kind of realize who they are and this was a really really good one that I really liked so yeah um, speaking of figuring out who you are and coming of age we have the Aristotle and Dante books okay first of all look at how beautiful these are are you kidding me they're so pretty this one I love these colors like oh my gosh I these books were so good um I just they were really good I really liked how they were written and how just like like how like the writing style was really I really liked it like it just it was something I really liked and then the story was also really good and like how they just like were figuring out who they are and stuff there was a cute dog I was just like and there was a cool truck oh my gosh the truck sounded so cool like I just this is yeah it's on the cover I was just like I love like all those things and then they're all together and it was just it's a very sweet book um it was sad in a lot of parts but then it was also like happy it was just a lot of emotions and i really love books that make me feel stuff so yeah <laughs> so now we're in december the last one the last two books we're on number 19 or we have night or 20 and 21 this is the first one i didn't realize i was when i got this book i was very confused because i got it used and I was like this is not what it looked like did I get the right book and then I realized this is the Canada version I like it a lot more than the other one because it's a lot more colorful <laughs> I have a thing for color um I love color so getting a more colorful edition made me very happy um this is a really interesting book I really liked it it kind of like I don't know what I took away from it was kind of like not finding like a life that's like settling for a life that sure you feel secure in but you're not happy you're not like your best self you're not like feeling good um you should settle you should not settle for that you should find a life that you're happy with what you're doing you're with somebody who you love and like just makes you feel good and happy and just like life is good kind of thing um that's kind of what i took away from it is to just live a life that's good and happy and find that kind of life and not one that sure is like like secure in a sense that like but you're not happy like at all and you're miserable like that's kind of what I took away from it also people some people hate this the like 
edges when they're like all funky. I love it. I thought it was so pretty. I got this. I was like, there's another thing that makes me love this book. It's colorful and it has the funky edges. What more could you ask for? Okay, next up, the last book. Actually, I think this is the last book that I read this year that was just a 10 out of 10. Loved this book. One of my top favorites. Um, the Firekeeper's Daughter. Look at how beautiful this is. Like, it is stunning. Um, and the back too. Like, I was just looking at this. I'm like, this is so pretty. Like, I... Like, that's one, like, this, and I heard, like, really good reviews about it. I got it, like, a, like, a long time ago, and then, like, it took me a bit to read it, and then I had forgotten completely what it was about, to be honest. I thought it was about, um, like, I thought it was a, I was mixing it up with a different book and thought it was, like, a dystopian, like, there's magical powers. Um, <laughs> not at all what it's about. I went into it and was like, wait a second, what is happening? Where is what I thought? And then I was, that's, I was thinking of a different book. Yeah, but this one, oh my gosh, it was amazing. Um, I love, so basically it's like a Native American, um, community is being like, kind of, I don't know how, what word you use. There's like, it's being investigated because, um, of drugs. And so she's like trying to help them and like also help her community and like trying to learn who she is and go through grief. There's so much grief in this book, but it's so good. Like, it was, and I love that it was written by somebody from that tribe, or, like, from, I think, yeah, she's from that tribe, right? Yes, I believe so. I believe that was the same tribe. Um, and so, it was just, the culture was just fascinating. Like, it was so cool to read a book. I love it when I read books about a different culture, and it's written by somebody in that culture, so they get it right, and they understand what they're talking about, and they write about it in just such a beautiful way. It was so good. Um... This book, it made me cry so many times. It also made me smile so many times. It was so beautiful. I also, just the cover. I just, I love this book. The story was just, it was amazing. Um, it was written so beautifully. It was so interesting to read. I just, this book was such a great way to end. And this wasn't the last book I read of the year. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Because I didn't end the year with this book. This was the last book that I read of the year that was just 10 out of 10 amazing. <laughs> But it was so pretty. I definitely recommend it. It was so good. Um, I just, the one thing that bugs me is I can't take this sticker off. It's not a sticker. It's printed on the book. And I'm just like, those kind of things bug me when you can't take the sticker, sticker off the book. Um, because this book cover is so pretty and then there's just a sticker. I mean, at least it kind of looks cool with it, but like some of them are like, anyway. So that was my 2021 in books. I keep wanting to say 2020, even though it wasn't. <laughs> Um, I read a lot this year. Um, I learned a lot from books this year and it was a very good year for books. I feel very happy about it. I have a huge TBR from Christmas <laughs> um, and I'm very excited to get through it and maybe make another one of these next year. I just, I love reading. I always have. It kind of got out of it for a while and got back into it. And yeah, it makes me very happy. And all of these books, I read, I mean, I read pretty much every single, I think there were only two, two or three books this year where I just, no, there's only two books this year I just couldn't finish where I was just like, no, one of them was the psychology book and it was just like not written by somebody who did the research well. And I was just like, I know, I cannot read this anymore. And then there's another one where I was just kind of like, I don't really like this. Like, it's just not my vibe. Um, and very rarely do I not finish a book. Anyway, um. So yeah, that was my year in books. It's 21 books that I can't stop thinking about and I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with pretty much all my books. Um, if you were to ask me to try and downsize, I couldn't. I, it just keeps growing. Um, <laughs> I've, I've changed my room around so many times this year. And every single time it's been like, how can I fit more books? <laughs> I have a lot of room on that shelf. Um, and some another shelf that's pretty much empty. But it's like... I pay through the year that I'm gonna be like, how can I fit more books? <laughs> because I just really love reading. And yeah. Anyway, this was my year in books. It made me very happy. And I hope maybe if you like see a book that you're is interesting, you look more into it. And you know, libraries are great and or like buying used and stuff and just experience reading a book. Yeah, all of them. I just like, I love them so much. It made me very happy, and I just could not put them down. 
once I got into them, I just, I could, it was, I read pretty much all the time. It's just something that's kind of like, I, my family's like kind of like, we tease each other, but like in a loving way. Like, it's like all good and I know they don't mean it. And like, I have some friends that are very similar in that way. And so, um, that happened a lot this year. I'd bring books with me everywhere and like read whenever I could. And it was, it was just funny. Um, I like, just like, yeah, this is, this, I've started loving it more. So it brings me joy. Oh, I'm gonna keep doing it. So yeah, I hope you have a great end of your year, beginning of your year, whenever you're watching this, and I hope maybe you pick up one of these books or I talked about one of the books you loved and did it justice. Um, I really love books, so I keep saying that, but I just do, and it makes me so happy. I like want to start crying because I'm happy. So we're gonna go now. <laughs> See ya soon, I guess. I don't know. Bye.